Hi, I'm Sharon Burl. Welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'm working with you step by step through each of the ABRSM theory grades. We're now going to have a look at the first paper of grade 3, 2016, that's paper A. There's lots of resources available to help you on my website. If you visit SharonBill.com, you'll find some free PDF information sheets that are available in US letter or A4, and they accompany each step of this series. All the information that you need to understand for this grade can be found in these documents. There's also a page on my website with links to all of my YouTube video tutorials. And so if you want to do some revision and revisit some topics from the ABRSM Music Theory and Practice Workbook, you'll find tutorials on every section there. You can also access information about the books that I have available. I've written a book, How to Take Your ABRSM Music Theory Exam, and it's full of tips and techniques on how to best prepare for your exam, and also how to best make use of the time once you're in the exam room, taking your exam paper. So if you visit SharonBill.com, it's all there for you. If you can give me a like, that would be fab. That would be really encouraging to me. And subscribe to my channel to keep updated. There's loads more to come. And so now, if you make sure you've got a sharp pencil, I always use a mechanical pencil, so I know I'm always sharp, and an eraser and a ruler. And then we're ready to get stuck into the grade three, paper A. So this will be the first paper of the 2016 exam period. And so let's have a look at some of these questions. I always recommend that it's best to try this paper on your own, first of all. Don't just copy through the answers with me. It's always better to learn by your mistakes. And that's the point of these papers, make your mistakes now. And then by the exam, you'll be all raring to go. And so I'm hoping that you've had a go of these questions yourself, first of all. And now I'm going to work through these questions with you. So question one asks us to add a time signature to each of these five melodies. And so the first job is to decide what our bottom number should be, what unit, what note value are we best counting this extract in. And so I would glance ahead and just find the simplest bar. This last bar gives us the answer quite clearly and it's obvious that we're going to be counting this in crotchet beats or quarter notes. We can't count that in um, quaver beats or eighth notes because the time signature wouldn't fit and we're also dividing into twos here so we're not in compound time and we're not going to be counting in minim beats or half notes because that would be just one beat per bar and so we're counting in crotchet beats or quarter notes and we can see very clearly in this last bar we've got one, two crotchet beats per bar. If you glance through at the other bars, you can see that that's so. We've got one beat there, and then half and a half makes another. We've got one beat there, a half, a quarter and a quarter makes another, and so on. But this bar tells us quickly what the answer will be. This next bar, this next exercise, excuse me, we can glance through and I think we can tell straight away this is going to be most easily counted in minim beats or half notes. And if we do so, we can see we've got one minim beat here, another one here, one here and one here. So we've got four half notes or four minim beats per bar. Okay, let's see about this next one. Now if you glance through, I think this final bar here gives us the answer quite clearly. We're obviously counting in quaver beats or eighth notes because we can see we're dividing into threes here. We're in compound time. So we're counting in quaver beats or eighth notes. So our bottom number is eight. And then if we see how many eighth notes or quaver beats, we've got one, two, three, four, five and a half, six, six, eight. And 6, 8, if you remember, is duple compound. We should have two groups of three. And we can see that quite clearly each time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're in 6, 8. Okie dokie. Let's move on to the next one. And so here we go. 
we are going to be counting, let's look at not this first bar gives us the answer quite nicely. We're going to be counting in crotchet beats. And actually, if you glance at the next bar, you can tell that because we're dividing into twos, we're not in compound time, we're in simple time here. So if we're counting in crotchet beats or quarter notes, we can see quite quickly in this first bar, we've got one, two, three crotchet beats, three quarter notes per bar. Okay, so we've just got this last exercise to look at. And here you can see everything's beamed together. Now, there's only one time signature where that can occur, but we'll get to that in a moment. Let's just count it straight away. This last bar gives us the clue. So we've divided into groups of three here and everything's beamed together. And this last bar tells us that we've got one, two, three quaver beats per bar. We couldn't count that in crotchet beats or quarter notes because that would be one and a half beats per bar. It's not enough for a minim beat. We'd only have three quarters of a minim or a, whole, uh, a half note. And so we have to be in 3-8. And 3-8 is the one time signature where we can just beam everything together because it's just such a short bar. So that's question one complete. I hope that's um, been helpful to you. Let's move on. Now question two of this paper is no longer relevant to the 2018 papers and onwards for the revised ABRSM music theory exams. Completing a four bar rhythm now, long, now no longer occurs in the 2018 onwards papers and so we're just going to skip that one because it's not relevant to your new exam paper and move on to question three. So question three asks us to add a clef, the correct clef, and any necessary sharp or flat signs to make the scale of A major. It says do not use a key signature. So no key signature at the beginning, but accidentals as and when we need them to make A major. Now I always suggest that you write out your keys before you start. That's one of the tips that I give in my um, How to Take Your Music Theory Exam workbook. And so, A major, we know has a key signature of F sharps, C sharps, and G sharps. And for the clef, we know that it must begin on A. And so for this to begin and end on A, it must be in the bass clef. Otherwise, that would be, if we wrote in the treble clef, that would be an F, and then that would be incorrect. And so now we just need to add the accidentals. Remember, an accidental needs to go before the note. So we can go in order, and we can find an F. There's our F. And our C is sharpened, and our G is sharpened. If it is that you're not very confident reading notation in this clef, you can always just count your way up. You know it begins on A. B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Don't forget you're going up from the bottom and then you can add your F, C, G sharps afterwards. And then of course you can just rub your little bit of annotation just to keep your paper neat and tidy. There we go. So the next scale we need to write out this time we've got to actually write the, semi the, the scale out using semi-briefs or whole notes. And we need to write one octave ascending, that means going up, of G harmonic minor with the key signature. So this time we do need a key signature. However, remember in a harmonic minor you also have an accidental of a raised seventh. Now G harmonic minor or G minor is related to B flat major and so we need a key signature of B flats and E flats and then we need to ascend starting on treble clef G. Let's just get the notes in first and then we'll worry about any other accidentals. So it gives line space, line space, line space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's an octave, and we've begun and ended on G. 
every good boy says football F G and so we know we've not gone wrong somewhere in the middle we've got our key signature however we now need to just be careful because we've got to raise the seventh and so one two three four five six seven is F and so to raise an F natural we need to add a sharp sign and that now makes the harmonic minor scale I do hope that's been helpful to you. If you've enjoyed that and it's been of help to you, please give me a, a like, give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. And subscribe to my channel to keep updated. There's loads more to come. We'll be addressing the next questions in the next video. Please do go to SharonBill.com to make full use of all the resources available there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.